Hello there and welcome. My name is Sunshine Amos, the CEO and Project Manager, Sunshine Resources. In this video, I'll be talking about the difference between cold process and hot process in bar soap making, right? The difference between cold process and hot process in bar soap making. Many a times people call me to ask me the difference between these two processes, cold and hot. What is the difference? In this video, that is what we'll be talking about. But before then, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing so that you get posted of all our videos and resources each time we upload them. Now, listen, every soap making process that you see is a methodology, right? Created by someone or a group of people. Now, these people go into intensive research and even experimentation in order to develop the method and the product. Okay? Now, after developing the product, the method used become a top secret only known to them, that is the developer. And if you want to have access to this method, you must get the patent right from them by way of payment. Okay? This you must know. I'm saying this because every soap you see in the market was uniquely created and designed by someone okay and he is not going to show you his method all right now having said this it means that anyone can develop a product or a method by himself there is no law against innovation or invention right you can even build on other people's method by way of research and experimentation in order to bring a better quality product right now at sunshine resources we've done well to give you a lot of standard quality method but you can still build on it using our standard as a base standard now just like i said earlier in this video we're going to be looking at the difference between cold process soap making and the hot process soap making now why do some people prefer the cold process and others prefer the hot process in the making of bar soap? Here at Sunshine Resources, you will notice that we predominantly use the cold process because it is the best among the two, right? However, there are instances where we introduce the hot process in the production line. For example, in the making of transparent bar soap, the use of heat is part of the process in order to get the transparency that we want. Also, in the making of small tablets soap, you will notice that we warm the oil before using it in order to get the smooth soap that we want. The heat that we introduced in that process was also part of the process, right? But that does not mean that the process was completely hot. I mean, the process was not completely a hot process. It was a cold process, but we just introduced heat for a moment just to be able to get the quality of product that we want. Now let's examine the hot method soap making. When bar soap is produced in a hot process, it means that the total soap content after mixing the ingredient will be subjected to heat for a period of time, right? Now the major advantage of this method is that the soap produced will be double in quantity. Did you hear that? The soap produced will be double in quantity. Now, supposing you want to produce soap using these two methods, the cold process and the hot process, using the same quantity of raw materials. Now, the hot process will produce double of the quantity of the soap over the cold process, even though you use the same quantity of raw materials. In other words, if you had gotten 100 gram of soap using the cold process, right? You will get 200 gram of soap using the hot process. Wow, you may say this is exciting, but hold on. Before you get too excited, there is a major disadvantage associated with this process. Now, after a few days, weeks or months of producing the soap, the soap will start to shrink in quantity and will develop white, hairy, crystalline particles on the surface of the soap. The soap becomes very soft in a short period of time and dissolves easily in water. This is one major disadvantage that is associated with hot process soap making. But this does not apply to cold process soap even though the quantity obtained from the cold process may not be as high as that of the hot process. So you can see that even though hot process will give you large quantity of soap but the quality of that soap is not sustained over a long period of time. This is the reason why we say that the cold process soap making is better 
than the hot processed soap making. So make your choice. If you really want a branded soap product, the cold process is the best. So thank you very much for watching and God bless you. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our website on www.sunshineresources.org.ng. You can visit our YouTube channel on youtube.com forward slash as sunshine resources. That's out. You can also follow us on our Facebook page as sunshine resources. Thank you very much for watching and God bless you.